hello welcome to my channel once again once again today i am not doing a comparison video between nigeria and ghana there is this guy his name is mc i will talk my mind you can follow him on tiktok and you can subscribe to his channel on youtube he said something he has done a video that touched me because listen ghanians there are a lot of things that we need to be appreciative of there are a lot of things that we have that we don't play it we don't really value it yes but some countries if they get it they'll be so proud there are so many things that we have in this country that we should be proud of but listen i don't want to talk much let's go into the video let's watch what this nigerian guy said come back and talk about it yes ghana really shocked me tonight i swear it's true that I don't live many years for this country, but I say, let me just come today and talk the reality and say the truth so that I will be free. If you see any, if you see country way past your country, way better than your country doing progress, you have to appreciate that country because it's not easy. It's not easy to be a good leader. Or good president. Nana Kufado, you are trying. Mohama, we put the constitution of the health insurance in Ghana. God will bless you. Nana Kufado, God will bless you. You see this health insurance? Eh? If you are a citizen or foreigner in Ghana, you have health insurance. This thing. Is health insurance. Whether it be citizen, whether it be foreigner, whether it is say pure water, whether it is say pepper, whether it be poor man, whether it be poor girl, whether it be poor boy. Once you have this insurance cover you for Ghana, government will take good care of you without no collect any money from you. If now something that you will pay like 50,000 naira in hospital. My brother, my sister, you will pay like, once you have this, you will pay like 1,000 naira end of the day or 500 naira end of the day. Once you have this health insurance, maybe assume you don't have, you know where, when you come hospital in Ghana, especially government hospital, Take a look at how their government hospital be standard. They are building they are building the hospital very correct, like European hospital, like European hospital. Government just because they know that health is very important for any human being life. You see, take a look at it. If I this is night, nice. if I walk, start and say, let me walk. Let me know whether I will see this hospital end. Maybe it will take me to go all over the hospital. Maybe it will take me like 40 minutes or 50 minutes, getting to one hour, before I will see the end of the hospital, this hospital. Very big. In more than FMC. You know, say, for Nigeria, FMC or where? Or anything FMC hospital. It's for big man. I could remember when when I did small, if we hear say this person they sick, they take it for FMC. Hey, we go say, hey, the family get money, or your children get money, or your husband get money. That is corruption. That is corrupt country. Nigeria is a corrupt country. Nigeria don't want to see a mass a poor person brief. After they loot the mineral resources, God used bless the country. But government will still they suffer you. Especially those wicked souls, those vampires in Asorok, they will make sure that they redoco your life useless. But it's not like that in Ghana. So far as you are a human being, Britain, whether you are, whether you be foreign now, whether you be citizen or you have this insurance cover you. They will treat you well. After you have this, come, assuming maybe you're sick, 
they will ask you, do you have your health insurance? Say, yes. They will say, bring it, we bring it. They will take it and send you to lab. You will go like five labs for them to know what is happening to you. They will take, they will, they will take your blood, do your one kind of many tests to find out what is happening to you. After that, then now they will send you to, after your results come out, now they will send you to doctor. Doctor will look. Doctor is a finance. Doctor will take their, their own time to look what is happening to you. After you find everything, after you find out what is happening to you, you will write the medicine for this, for this, the same card like this. They will not write it for hand or give you for paper sheep. The medicine where they need in your head with the inside this with computer. When the doctor when the doctor done with you, now he will tell you that you should go to the farmers to take your medicine. Then Ghana shocked me. When I reach farmers with this, then carry medicine, medicine upon medicine, drip upon drip. Where then go give my woman. Because if my woman is sick, I bring him for the hospital. Both injection, both to drip, or drip where they bring self, almost six drip. Everything they bring. My brothers and sisters, if I buy that medicine where they give me for outside, I swear to God, I will spend like 30,000 or 30,000 naira or 40,000. Let's say 40,000 naira. The way things are spent is now. But they don't collect anything from me because of this health insurance. When the doctor is taking good care of you, finding out what is happening to you in your system, he will be telling you, Oh, my brother, sorry, or my sister, sorry, everything. Very calm. White people are working for this hospital. They didn't make this hospital for rich people, they make it for the citizen and the foreigner. So first you are a human being on this Ghana. You have this. You title to come to this hospital. And this hospital, they build it like six or seven in each state. That's why if, if you are sick in Ghana like this, if you see where you, you take your health insurance, they go. And if you don't want if you want to go and collect this health insurance, they will not collect any money from you. They will do it for you. Because government you title to get it whether you be foreigner whether you be citizen so you see listen first of all let me make this correction the health insurance that he's talking about it was introduced by the kufu administration back in 2000 and i think four or five thereabout and charlie you know one thing that i like about nigerians is that they are not ashamed to talk about their problems they are not ashamed to talk about whatever they don't have. Like, Ghanaians, we don't do this. Ghanaians, we don't do this. Because if you don't talk about it, how can that problem be solved? Ghanaian politicians are corrupt. Nigerian politicians are corrupt. But sometimes I think Ghanaian politicians are doing a little better. And Ghanaians, we need to appreciate. I'm very sad listening to my brother and... MC I go talk my mind. Please follow him. Follow him and subscribe to his channel. I will put the link in the description so that you go follow him. Listen, let's let's appreciate this as Ghanaians. We have a lot of things that many a times we just try to compare ourselves with Nigerians and say we have this and they don't have it. We have that and they don't have this. Listen, we should be really, really appreciative of everything that we have. Because Charlie, our leaders, they are corrupt. I always say that, but they are trying. They are trying because when you listen to Nigerians, I have Nigerian friends, when you listen to them and the kind of things they tell you about Nigeria is, is just crazy. If Ghanaians, we are facing or we are experiencing that thing, like even half of it in Ghana, all of us might even run away from this country. It's sad hearing him say this, that there are even some hospitals that look like this hospital. This is not even the UG hospital. Or I'm very sure this is an regional hospital or something. And he's saying even a regional hospital like this in Nigeria, it will be meant for the rich and not for the poor. 
but in Ghana, you can go anywhere, even the UG hospital, when you go to Kolebu and you are sick or something and they are taking care of you and perhaps they think uh, there is something that they are supposed to even refer you, no matter who you are, they will refer you to the UG hospital. We all know the UG hospital, very big, very huge, very like international standard, but everybody goes there. So men, we should be appreciative of everything that we have as Ghanaians because there are a lot of things that are going on in other countries that if they tell you as Ghanaian, <laughs> you will not even, you will not even stay in that country. So hey, we are not here to compare, please. We are not here to compare. You as a Ghanaian, just be appreciative of what you have. That is the more reason why I even did this video. Be appreciative of what you have. Thank you so much for watching.